Oh, oh, oh my God. Of course, man. I had to redo this whole video again. I knew it. I said, I, as soon as I make this video about free agency that was so quiet that something was going to happen, and it looks like, yeah, the Eagles, they just signed a running back. Well, 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 it looks like the Eagles have signed a running back, Rashad Penny, that was formerly with the Seattle Seahawks. This one is really interesting. When you look at Rashad Penny, when healthy, this man is a bulldozer. This man has a shift of speed, such great vision. And when I see him healthy, I see what he could do behind this Eagles offensive line. Watch out, home run hitter, and probably one of the most probably is going to be a very, very good sneaky signing for the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, this literally just happened. And with Rashad Penny in your backfield, doesn't mean now that you're only going to have Gainwell and Rashad Penny. Do they not want to get a running back in the draft? I wouldn't say that entirely, but for the price that, you know, we don't have the numbers for this yet, but right now it looks pretty good. Now, the things we have to watch out for Rashad Penny is obviously the injuries. Obviously, the ACL injury, the torn ACL he had in 2019, the broken fibula from last year. He only played until week five of the season, and he was out the rest of the year. So, he's had a lot of time, you know, and it was just a broken, you know, obviously, the ACL is the ACL from 19, but a broken fibula, thank God it wasn't another ACL or another in, really more serious injury. Even a fibula is not great, but at the same time, you know, this could be a low-risk, high-reward move for the Philadelphia Eagles. And when I look at Rashad Penny's tape and what he could do, and I've seen it before, the guy is a stud. This guy could be much better than Miles Sanders. This guy will bulldoze over people. He'll take hits. He'll give hits um his jump cuts his you know he's the jack of all trades when it comes to his moves what he could do behind the offensive line and when he gets that second level against that that shift of speed up field he is remarkable when healthy remarkable can Rashad Penny stay healthy for the Philadelphia Eagles this year and if he does man and obviously, he's going to be betting on himself to work for another contract. So there's a lot going on with this. I'm glad something at least happened. Um, going to look at a lot more of Rashad Penny and just, you know, I've watched him over the years. And obviously, like I said, he's dealt with injury. But this is a low-risk, high-reward move. This is a very, very high-reward move if Penny can stay healthy. He only had like 350-something yards last year. But obviously, the broken fibula after week five, like he was playing pretty damn good but now Rashad Penny and Rashad Penny in a system like this with Jalen Hurts and just what he could do for this offense behind this offense this offensive line is gonna make some holes for him pause but you know what I mean this this is a really good signing a sneaky it, this could turn out to be a very good sneaky signing for the Philadelphia Eagles so if it's I don't know what the one-year deal is going to be. I don't know what the numbers are. We'll come out with the numbers when we hear about them. But this was good. A lot of Eagle fans are worried about this. But like I said, you're not going to the running back market for free agents and paying. You know, Miles Sanders is going to be expensive. They weren't going to pay him that much money. They're getting a guy coming off injury last year. Not an ACL. Not something real serious. A broken fibula, which is it's not great. But they've obviously talked to the agent of his health, how he's doing. So he's been resting since week five, since the injury of last season. You know what I mean? Since October. You know what I mean? So he's had a lot of time to heal up. It's not like he got this injury late in the season last year or anything like that, which is better for us. He'll be better. He'll be ready for OTAs. He'll be ready for training camp. And he's going to look real good behind this offensive line. That tangent between Jalen Hurts and, and Rashad Penny it could be pretty damn dangerous. We never expect this to really happen, but when Howie does things like this, when he's quiet, good things happen. And this isn't going to be it, guys. There's going to be a lot more to come. So originally, this video was supposed to be made without Rashad Penny in it, but now I'm going to go through the other things I was supposed to put out as well. So that was a really good sneaky signing. Very excited for it for Rashad Penny. It's going to be awesome. Now, to talk about Chauncey Garner Johnson, it has been really quiet with Chauncey, more quiet than expected. But at the same time, as the days go on, 
it it might he might be a lot cheaper than we think, guys, because when you look at some of these contracts with Andrew Wingard, uh, the contracts with Donovan Wilson from the Cowboys that signed the extension as a safety, these guys are only getting paid like six to eight million dollars a year. Jesse Bates got sixteen, but I think why it's so quiet right now with Chauncey Garner Johnson is because there is no deal to relay back to the Eagles right now. I don't think Chauncey got a solid deal from a team yet, and I think. Chauncey is pretty much waiting to see, you know, what he can get. And when, once he gets that solid deal, he'll relay it back to the Eagles to either, and I think the same goes for Bradbury as well, is to either top that deal or match it. So I think every morning we wake up as of right now, the price is going to drop for Chauncey. And as the days go on, like I said, you get through that first wave of free agency they're going to be a lot cheaper. Now, I don't know how cheap Chauncey's going to be, but this is just speculation of me just saying that I don't think Chauncey or Bradbury relayed anything back to the Eagles when it comes to a deal yet. So I think the Eagles are pretty much just waiting on that right now. We haven't seen a restructure from Lane. We haven't seen what's going on with Slay and trying to get some money out of him on the restructure to the extension that he wants. So there's a lot going on right now, and I think there is a major... there. there it, there's... There's a possibility that Chauncey Gardner Johnson is coming back, which is pretty good. So as the days go on, like I said, it's going to get better and better, hopefully, which I think is great. Um, and then we had news on Emmanuel Mosley that was, you know, apparently the Eagles were linked to Emmanuel Mosley, the cornerback from 49ers. He tore his ACL last year, um, you know, is a really good player. So the, uh, unfortunately, the Lions signed him. You know, the Eagles had interest. The Eagles backed off of this. The Lions signed him to a one-year deal. I don't know what what I think for, I think it was for six million dollars. He's probably getting a couple million out of it. So this would have been a really low risk, high reward move for the Eagles at corner, but backed out of it. So who knows? Bradbury. There could look if they were to get Bradbury and Chauncey Garner Johnson back, that would be pretty huge. I'd be shocked, but with Chauncey right now. That is my main focus right now. And getting a cornerback right now, like look at the draft with these cornerbacks. I mean, it's so deep with this draft right now. I It wouldn't even matter to me if Bradbury was gone, okay? We'll see what the number's going to be when Bradbury gives the Eagles his, you know, whatever deal that's, that's going to be solid for him that the Eagles can either match or top that deal as well. So we'll see. So the, so the Eagles lost out on Emmanuel Mosley. Probably just backed out of it, said, you know what? We had interest, but probably not anymore. So he signed with the Lions on a one-year deal. Now, the Austin Eichler situation as of right now, if you guys heard from yesterday, is that Austin Eichler demanded a trade, probably for an extension, probably for something that just wasn't working out. So he got his wish. Austin Eichler is such a Howie Roseman contract right now because he only cost one more year, $6.2, $6.3 million left on his deal. So... Poss you know, th th this was a possible assumption that he would have been traded or something like that. I kind of want to bring this up because I thought the Eagles had interest, but now with Rashad Penny here, this is definitely not going to happen. And obviously, with Rashad Penny, you got a cheaper price now that the Austin Eichler rumors are probably down in the mud and probably not going to happen with the Eagles at all. So I just want to bring that up, um, just an update in, in the news with that. Now it comes to some other players that have been, that have been released as well. Quentin Jefferson is another one. Um, Quentin Jefferson is actually, you know, is a num another one as well. Um, you know, had five and a half sacks last year with the Seahawks. Now, you know, you heard that the Se Seahawks, you know, got that big defensive lineman from Denver, um, that big defensive tackle that they signed to a lot of money, which could take them out of the Jalen Carter sweepstakes in the draft too. Um, so Quinton Jefferson is available, could be a nice rotational guy. We th thought about him, uh, Calias Campbell, you know, uh, you know, there are guys available. Guys will become available for the Philadelphia Eagles and this defensive line. Adding Quinton Jefferson wouldn't be a bad thing either as another defensive tackle that is available right now, which is great. So definitely want to look more into this to see where he goes and if the Eagles actually have interest to put him in a rotation, which would be great. Now, Elijah Moore, um, Elijah Moore needs to get released, freed, cut. I don't care what happens, traded. But Elijah Moore is just wasting his time with the Jets as of right now. Now, Aaron Rodgers is going to sign with, with the Jets. It's going to happen. But Aaron Rodgers is putting out a free agent wide receiver list for the Jets to go out and get some of these guys he wants to play with. So they're literally catering to Aaron Rodgers right now, getting 
Lazard and getting a, a couple other guys, OBJ and a couple other guys on the list. Now, Elijah Moore is not on that list, but what are they going to do? Just keep him on the back end of that roster? Elijah Moore has won and out from the Jets for the past couple years and just release him, trade him, do something with him because... Like, why even st want him to stay around? He should hold out or do something. At least tell them, like, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go to another team. But having Elijah Moore as your number three wide receiver for the Eagles, depending on what his contract is, depending on, obviously, what if they can release him. I didn't look at the contract situation, so I don't know all of that. I should have checked and probably should have reported it, but whatever. Um, but as a number three would be fantastic, reliable, quickness. I mean, he would be a, a legit threat as a number three and would give Quez Watkins some competition for camp, for OTAs, for all that great stuff, for joint practices as well, see who would play better. Um, but Adam Thielen is still out there, lowest high reward type wide receiver move for number three uh, for the wide receiver spot. And Slay has been obviously, you know, we saw him trying to get him on the team. And, you know, to see where he would sign would be very interesting. And I think wouldn't cost that much either. As a number two with the Vikings, he's just not cutting it anymore. But as a number three, as a role playing number three type wide receiver with Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown, uh, he's going to look really good here. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens with the Eliza Moore situation to see if the Eagles actually are going to keep Quez and want him as a starter next year. But I wouldn't keep him comfortable. Bring in some competition. Bring in somebody. And I would still keep Quez on the roster. If they really can't trade him, he's dirt cheap. But if they can't get a, a mid-round draft choice for him, then just keep him on the roster. Try to sign somebody else. I know Zach Pascal's still out there as well. But, you know, you want some legitimately, a legit number three on your team that can really do some damage. You got something right here with Elijah Moore, which I think would be pretty cool. And lastly, we're going to talk about the quarterback situation. We know that, you know, the Eagles like value. The Eagles like a lot of value with the quarterback position. With Ian Book is now the only quarterback as the backup right now for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, it looks like Jacoby Brissett. It looks like the Eagles have interest. Not just the Eagles. I think the Buccaneers as well. Jacoby Brissett played on the Colts. Nick Sirianni was the offensive coordinator. They have a very close relationship. Um, you know, so, you know, this could be something. But don't treat him like, you know, Garner Minshew when we need to get that number one seed. And you put Garner Minshew in a Jalen Hurts system where no one's fearing Garner Minshew use legs and you know you got to change your offense when you have a new quarterback in there where you have a pocket quarterback where defenses aren't going to respect his legs because they know he can't run and Jacoby Brissett's pretty athletic but he's not that athletic okay but he's a journeyman quarterback that's had a lot of starting experiences had backup experience that has done it all in the NFL I think would be a very good fit for the Eagles you know but as promised if you get him on this roster if you sign him as the backup for the Philadelphia Eagles you have got to God forbid Hurts got to stay out of game or something, knock on wood. You got to... You got to cater to his strengths in this offense. You got to change it up. You, you can't just put him in the same system as Hurts, let him practice the whole week, and then choke in a game. Okay, that can't happen. So that's the news on Jacoby Brissett. Nothing final yet, but something to definitely look up to. But guys, Rashad Penny is a low-risk, high-reward move. Very happy about this. I don't know what you guys think about Rashad Penny, and obviously the other moves to Chauncey Garner-Johnson. What do you think is going to happen with that situation as the days go on? But Rashad Penny, man, is a high, is a low-risk, high-reward move, and man, this guy is a bulldozer, man. This this guy is a punisher. This like this guy likes to give hits. This guy is going to drag people on, con on, on contact for, you know, uh, for five yards in an open field. He's almost amazing. Nine out of 10 times in the open field is going to make the first guy miss. I mean, he's he might be better than Miles. He might be so much better with that that ceiling that he has here. I think this is a sneaky good sign. I think the Eagles got something really good here. And, um, oh, man, I'm ready to go, man. I'm already ready for the season already. But we still have a lot. We still have a lot more pieces we need to get defensively. Will they get a running back in the draft to top this? They probably should because if Rashad Penny's only here for a year, you never know what could happen. You know what I mean? Then you're down to square one of needing a running back again if you don't hit the draft on a running back. So this is going to be really cool to talk about for this week and um, the, just to see how he is. He got hurt early last season, which is a good thing. So he's had a lot more rest. Last October is the last time he played football. So um, a lot of upside with Rashad Penny being in your offense behind this offensive line. Oh, God. This is going to be a good good year offensively. This offense is looking better and better. With Rashad Penny being there and staying healthy, this is going to be a good year. So we'll see what happens. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up. Follow us. Peace out, guys. Peace.